Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, my God, I about fell out of my chair when I heard about this this yeah. morning. There is a PBS employee, a lawyer, uh, who worked for PBS. You know, PBS, uh, PBS the Kids. public broadcasting system. You know, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers, uh, formerly the home of Caillou. But uh, PBS, worked for PBS. And he was caught on camera advocating for the children of Trump supporters to be taken from their families and placed into re-education camps. Yeah, this is not okay. Uh, he also wanted to, uh, he was actually promoting violence and some other stuff. And, uh, you know, when you see videos like this um, out there, sometimes you're like, okay, this might have been taken out of context. Yeah, it you happens. Know, maybe he was drinking, maybe whatever. But, you know, I watched it and then within an hour, I put this out there. I'm like, they're literally talking about the children of Republicans should be put into re-education camps. What the bleepity bleep. Within an hour of that happening, he was fired by PBS. They, they actually uh, well, acknowledged good. it. They did the right thing because, you know, I don't care what side you're on. If you're saying things like this, it's not okay. I don't care, you know, and beyond this whole thing, the, the fact that we're so polarized thanks to the media and the internet and social media exactly like they wanted, um, you know, People are just, you know, it's either my side or the other side. The other side, it's evil, no matter what side it is. And, you know, in this country, you have a right to choose. That's part of the of the beauty of this country. Um, even though some places are trying to make it that it's only yeah. a one-choice town, which just doesn't mean democracy, in my opinion. But, you know, this is never okay to say. And, of course, you know, it's not... A company could be good overall, but have some people that, that say bad things. Yeah, I mean, that that is true. But, I, you know... This is a sentiment that we're, we're seeing more and more of. It's like, I'm sorry, you don't you don't combat extremism with extremism. No, it doesn't work. What well, Squid King keeps saying, and he's not wrong. Okay, this is my my 17 year old son. He said everybody looks at the the, the po politics as a straight line where you have the far left and the far right, and he's like, but basically at this point, it's not that. It's a circle. And the and and, and he's like, some of these people you know, go so far one way, they end up looping back onto everything they say they hate. They just look at they just they just use a couple little different different verbiage, but it's exact same behavior and mentality. Yeah, it's a, a horseshoe theory too. It's like you can't tell the the far left from the far right anymore, and it's insane to see this. The reason we're covering this is because it is creeping into pop culture again. We have a person working for PBS, which most of us grew up watching PBS. PBS, one of the points that they do and they always ask for money is because they're trying to give programming to children and to people who might not otherwise have programming because it's expensive. And the whole point, one of the points was to make sure there's programming for everyone. I mean, do you remember the shitstorm that hit when PBS worked with HBO? HBO bought Sesame Street. Yeah, and yeah. then HBO was going to put put the S episodes on first, on H which they do, on HBO, yeah. uh, before they went to public broadcasting. And people were mad because they said it was it was keeping, um, you know, the stuff away from people that paid. It was putting it behind a paywall. And it was it was a privileged thing. People who had money could buy it. People who didn't couldn't. And, you know, they were having a shit fit about that. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's just interesting to me what well, that's okay to be mad about, which I, I understand where they're coming from, but people will be like trying to probably defend this and why it's right. Um, yeah. Because, you know, well, he's not wrong. Yeah. I'm because like, anytime you say re-education camps, you're wrong. Yeah. And this is the, I was just floored because the guy is going on in the video. You watch the video out there. It's, uh, it is on Twitter. You can watch it. And he's going on about, you know, Trump being a Yahtzee and all of this. I'm like, and then immediately followed with, let's let's take kids away from their families and send them to camps. I'm like, oh my God, do you not see the irony Again, in this? Squid King is like, you know, it's like, what, we don't like what you think. So we're going to, we don't like something about you. So we're going to take your children and put them on a train <laughs> and send them someplace. Um, and he's like, what's that sound like to you? Okay, this is my 17 year old son. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and it doesn't because, and, and, cause we I, like, we're watching this. I'm sure you're, you agree. And, and, and our generation's watching this. We're generation Xers for the most part, depending who you ask. Sometimes we're late millennials, but I think we're more X people. We're watching this and we're all like, what the literal hell? Because when we were kids and before you were taught to think for yourself, mm -hmm. like, you know, you, you, you were taught what you were taught in school, but you're also taught to, you know, don't rely on them. Go think for yourself. You know, do your best. You, you know, some people win, some people don't. That's the way life is, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have this generation that was basically taught to, to not think for themselves. They were taught to a test 
and don't you don't question authority. And our kids, we taught them to think for themselves yeah. because you need to think for yourselves. And no matter what happens, you know, if you just go along with what everybody's telling you, it doesn't make it right. You need to actually step back and look at it and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you're allowed to pick and choose and say, this you're saying on this extreme is, uh, is wrong. What you're saying on this extreme is wrong. But you have these little bits of information that are correct. You need to meet in the middle. That's what normal people do. Well, we're running out of normal people, and that is the problem. And a lot of abnormal people are, unfortunately, uh, working in the media, working in entertainment. And they're sort of uh, in a position where they can spread their abnormality throughout the industry. And when you work at a place like PBS, you are reaching kids when you work in... Right, that's the point of the point. That's the point. Now, PBS... Programming they, for everyone. Oh, my God. Public broadcast system. That's what PBS means. Yeah, um, public brainwashing system. Anyway, we're, we'll, we'll talk about this before we get into it. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Again, we're covering this because it does deal with PBS, um, and it's appalling. It, it really is, but we're. I think we're going to see more of it. I think. I think with everything going on, people become so polarized that we're going to see more, and we're already seeing it. A lot of people working in entertainment and mm -hmm. the media just losing their shit. Completely. Right. It went from okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop supposedly. We're going to stop things that are being said that are extremist, um, which is interesting, too, because other people said similar things, but they were on a different political side. and No one did anything about that. That's a whole other discussion. Mm. Um, we went from that to now anybody who doesn't agree with us is going to be censored. Anybody, a, a, any alternate platform. At the end of the day, make no mistake. This isn't even about censorship. This is about making sure that Twitter and Facebook and, and these corporations and these government entities associated with them, lobbyists, et cetera, remain in power. It's about them keeping their power. That's why when there's alternatives, suddenly they're, they, they go out of the way to label them all right, even if it's not true, just to, to, to make sure they go after the cancel. Yeah, we're, we're already seeing it. I mean, Parler was taken down in record time. But okay, so they're going to make the argument for Parler, Parler, but now they're making it for everything else too. They're coming after Gab, they're coming after DLive, the media especially, they're leading the charge. It's almost like the media is going out and ferreting out uh, alternative tech social media platforms to be like, there could be Yahtzees on this but there, one. But there can be on any, so there can be extremist fringes on any. I'm sorry, Twitter leans extreme fringe left. I don't see anybody saying it should be shut down. I'm just like, this whole thing is about keeping their monopoly on social media between Twitter and Facebook and what they own, like Instagram and all that. Yeah. It's, that's what this is about. And we, we actually did a video, uh, you know, we're going to talk more here about PBS. We did a video yesterday and we actually decided not to post it. Because we're at a point now where you know, YouTube channels are getting shut down for speaking out about this stuff. Like, this should concern you. I don't care what your your politics are. I don't care if you're right or left. Um, you know, people are wondering. Most people are in the middle somewhere. Yeah, most people are in the middle. If you're wondering about me personally, because people are like, oh, my God, you're not right. Yeah, it's like, actually, I'm a registered libertarian, and you're an independent. So yeah. we used to both be leaning Democrats. We, we've always been centrist leaning left. Actually, it's not true. We were Democrats until the, the until what Democrat meant, you know, then started to become centrist. And then we were that. Um, but we, you know, we keep getting called names because we're just sitting here like most rational people watching this whole thing go down and we're like, well, censorship's never the answer. No. And, you know, while they, where they're yelling about this person, we're watching all these other people behave in the same manner on the other side. And we're just like, wait, this is ridiculous. This is just dumb. You're both wrong. So now we've we've taken a leap beyond just calling for censorship. Now, I guess this video was recorded a while ago because this was before the election. But with, oh, it just now comes out. Yes, isn't that convenient? Yeah. So it, it we're, we're we're taking a leap beyond censorship to calling for people being put into camps. This is not the first time we've heard it, though. The problem is there are, are literally there are politicians out there who want to round up anybody who voted for Trump and put them on a list. They're they're publicly calling. There's no. For there, this is ridiculous. You have a choice in America. That's part of the, that's why we have two, you know, I don't want to think there should be more than, you know, there's, there's a there couple more parties, but there should be more than two major parties. That you have a choice in America. It is your choice who to vote for. The, the, the whole idea that if you vote for one or the other, that suddenly you should be upon a list and you should be re-educated. That does not, that is not an American way. That is what you're seeing in countries like China. Yeah. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear it, but the truth is the truth. Yeah, so this is this is uh, sounds very much like China. We talked about you know the controversy Disney had filming Mulan near re-education camps. 
Uh, I, I, I thought it was maybe tongue in cheek. I thought maybe the guy was drunk. You watch the video, and I think he's serious. I, I really do. Well, I mean, at least PBS did something about it. Yeah. So we're we're gonna we'll talk about what they did. They they reacted quickly. To, we're talking like because this is hour not okay. Two. I'm sorry. I don't care what side you're on. Making comments like this is not all right. No. So here we go. This is coming from RT.com. Hidden camera footage of PBS executive Michael Beller in which he appears to wax poetic about deprogramming Trump supporters' kids and celebrates their parents' death from COVID oh has God. apparently gotten him fired. Speaking to an undercover reporter for conservative uh, muckraking outfit, Project Veritas, Beller appeared to boast that even if Joe Biden wins, so this is before the election, we go for all the Republican voters and Homeland Security will take their children away. And he was kind of smirking about it. This is that. PBS who does programming for children. PBS. Okay. We'll put them into re-education camps, he continues, suggesting this was necessary because kids who are growing up knowing nothing but Trump would take after their Trump-supporting parents and presumably become pint-sized bigots. Okay, but you know, so just saying this is, kind of, is, is bigoted. This, this is what I'm saying. You stop being a bigot as I'm being a bigot is getting really tiring and old. You know, you, for, for people that you keep saying this stuff, you don't believe, practice what you preach at all. And that's what I'm sick of. God. Um, God. I, I yeah, because you why he talks about, you know, Trump being a Yahtzee. I'm like, rounding up children, taking them from their parents and putting them in camps. That's not something that a Yahtzee would do. I'm just. Like you're bad shit. You're right, absolutely so bad shit. You can be told if you're certain races, you're beneath other races, you know, and that and, and, and it's all a bunch of shit. I don't, I don't, I would, I don't care what you're, what insert whatever here, or there, uh, straight white male, black, white, uh, black, you know, Asian, whatever. I don't care what you insert in there. Nobody's above somebody else. Yeah. This is stupid and I'm sick and tired of it. We need diversity. We need acceptance, but we need real diversity and acceptance, not this bastardized version of it. So PBS responded via Twitter just hours after the clip was posted, announcing that Beller, who had served as principal counsel of business God, affairs even. for PBS since 2013, according to his LinkedIn page, no longer works That's for the okay. publicly I'm sure funded Twitter network. Will hire him. I'm sure. He even belittled his former role. Call it, they even belittled his former role, saying, oh, he's just a mid-level staff attorney, insisting he did not make any editorial decisions. Well, I hope not, because they, they mostly are known for their kids' programming. Uh, Beller seemed less than serious in some parts of the recording, grinning, for example, as he suggested Biden supporters should go to the White House and throw Molotov cocktails should, should the Democrat lose okay. the election. That's what people keep pointing out. They said people were inciting violence and saying that, you know, that this, this march on Washington. I saw people on Twitter and different places posting that if Biden didn't win, they were going to go after cities and, and they were going to attack cities and everything else. Why wasn't that called out? Why wasn't that? Because it's wrong. Just like people going and storming the White House was wrong. It's all wrong. It doesn't matter which side it's on. Shit, shit. I am sorry. <sighs> God. Grow the hell up. So he said it would it would be a nice it would be a nice re-education camp though. Get this. Uh, the lawyer seemed to have quite a bit of thought or he put quite a bit oh of thought God. in how to re-educate Trump supporters kids, expanding on the enlightenment camps where they'd be sent to. He spoke to his undercover companion. It was a woman who said, Amen to like a stuff he was saying. They're nice. They have Sesame Street characters in the classrooms and they watch PBS all day. The children's program has been repeatedly skewered by conservatives for indoctrinating the younger generation uh, with their anti-racist special, etc. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? And the thing is, that's one person working in the entertainment industry, working for publicly funded or government funded PBS, by the way, that has that opinion. How many more people that, that work for these companies have that opinion. They literally think they should just like round up the children and, and save them. Well, you know what? I don't care which side it's on. That opinion's wrong either way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, these, these extremist opinions are extremists for a reason and they're all wrong. You know, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't say it was right if they were saying it the opposite direction. It's wrong either way. I mean, I'm just sitting here watching this, like people trying to justify why, well, the summer was okay, but this other week is wrong. And I'm like, they're both wrong. They are both wrong. It doesn't matter how you try to justify it. Both are wrong. Both should be prosecuted. Both are bullshit and should be condemned. And they should be in trouble for it. Not just one over the other. It's, it's a lot of shit. And I'm sorry. I'm tired of hearing about what well, one was worse. No. No, no, no. What happened a couple weeks ago, you know, they can't, oh, that happened one day. Compared to months of bullshit. It's like, it's all bullshit. You don't get to justify it. There's no justification for it. 
all right guys so that is that i think we're going to see more of this insanity as uh people become more emboldened and they become more polarized and the country continues and to instead of burn. de-escalating it or they can yeah. they just keep they just keep poking the bear and making it worse yeah you, i mean it's like they want it to blow up yeah yeah so uh pbs guys sesame street re-education yeah, if you care about your kids you know this you know this, this needs to stop all of it oh my god okay you're gonna wrap it up yeah please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants talk to you later bye